we're just going to focus on two linear elements and going back to the previous video about vertical versus horizontal, um, which you'll see most commonly is that the vertical is described by columns at the small scale and beams at the small scale. Um, and these can be magnified to the idea of towers and bridges. But we can just look at uh, just a couple examples of uh, how you might use these elements in architecture and what they might mean. So let's look at columns first. Um, what you usually find actually is that you want to see one column. You'll see rows of columns. So you'll see, uh, for example, in the Parthenon, uh, you'll see it enclosed essentially by, by the columns in a row. In fact, there's hollow space inside, so it turns out that besides this roof, um, all that is dictating this rectangular void that you see is, is really columns and they're lines. So you see that lines can show planes if you line them up in parallel. And after that, if you line up planes, you can see voids. So we'll get to that. Um, the important thing to see is that parallel lines instantly uh, give the impression of a plane. So this is we're seeing uh, linear elements become higher dimensions. Um, and this is really important in essentially defining planes when you don't want to have like a, like a solid wall. You can have instead uh, that wall be columns. That wall can be arches, which is essentially columns with curved tops. And um, you could even have it'd be slits like this, I think wood slits. And what does that mean? But you'll often see this instead in, in terms of uh, beams. You'll see that at the top, so we'll see something like a trellis, which is if you have an uh, enclosed space but the overhead is, is open, so you'll have your hallway, but then the top is just beams over and you can see the sunlight coming through and you might have vines on it. There is no roof on this but you have a series of parallel lines and it gives the impression of a covering um, but really um, you can think of it as void with lines or you can think of it as a plane with lines cut out of it too because those are thicker lines uh, in the spaces between this. Um, so on a small scale, that's what uh, lines can do. You can think of fences or lines. Um, you can think of a path of trees. Uh, not only is the path of trees a line itself, but it's giving the impression of the more important line right here. So it provides directionality. Um, and sometimes the more the most powerful line is not even shown at all. It might just be inherent in the symmetry of a city or some kind of configuration of buildings all based on a central axis that provides a sense of order to the to the structure to the uh, collection of structures it provides directionality and it provides order